All right, it's time for this week's Second Chance Pets. This morning, you're looking at the lovely and sweet Kamala. We're told she was brought into the Humane Society for Southwest Washington after she was found stuck in an apartment vent. They believe poor little Kamala may have fallen into it and been stuck there for quite some time. So joining us live to introduce us and talk more about Kamala is our friend Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Good morning, Kamala, first and foremost. And Sam, it's always good to see you too. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, thank you for having us. We're enjoying a little bit of social time today. And uh, as you said, with Kamala here, we have a little bit of a mystery. You know, every, every pet who comes to us has most pets have some kind of mystery. We don't ever know most of their history, but for her, uh, you know, being found in an uh, in an event and an apartment is certainly a little bit of a of a curious condition to be discovered in. But fortunately, she's she's going for a little adventure today. Fortunately, she is uh, she's happy, she's social, and she's she's ready to find a new home. Yeah, looks like it. She's got a really beautiful tortoise shell yeah, uh, she's kind of pattern. I'm noticing um, she got a little bit of a haircut when she came to you guys, right? Kind of tell us about some of the care she's received uh, since coming to Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Yeah, well, that's another part of the mystery, right? She was when she when we got her, she was she had some scabs. She had a lot of hair loss. We suspect it was a reaction to fleas. And so mm. to treat a lot of that, she had been shaved. Um, and we suspect that she will have some sort of probably be a short hair cat uh, when she grows all of her hair back. But for right now, it is a little bit of a mystery. She was in really rough shape when she came here. But fortunately, she has been really social, really happy. And she's been uh, totally comfortable with the care that we've been able to give her. So she's on the road to, to some better health now. Good. Yeah, she looks to be so happy in such better company than, you know, like an apartment vent. So you don't know a lot about her <laughs> background, but you have spent some time with her. Do you have any, any idea about like what kind of family she would be good with? Yeah, so she is a little bit shy. She's a little bit anxious. I wish she would come down from her little perch here so you can see more than just her, <laughs> her, you know, lid, her back Sam. left leg. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so another condition that Kamala has is her left eye. She's blind in her left eye. It's You can see it in some of the photos. It's sort of black with, like, a grayish swirl. It looks like a really pretty marble, and it gives her a really great character. But along with that, her blindness can lead to a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of a little bit of discomfort in some spaces because she can't see anything that's going on, on the left side. And so even this morning as I'm playing with her, if I have a toy off on that side, she may occasionally get startled by it. Or if I pet her on her shoulder and she wasn't expecting it, she may get startled. So mm -hmm. for that reason, we want her to go to a home with older kids if mm -hmm. there are kids in her home. So we're saying kids over six, kids who are old enough to know that you have to sort of let her know when you're about to say hi to her so you don't scare her. Sure, that makes sense. What about um, other dogs and cats? I think she's uh, not a fan of other cats in the house, it sounds like. Yeah, that's what we've learned while she's here. She is, seems to be uh, very cat reactive, mm -hmm. meaning she's, she's not one who wants to share her space with other cats. We don't have a reason to believe that she couldn't share a home with a dog. As long as that dog is respectful, we think it would be okay. But of course, it's always unique. Yeah. And anytime a cat's going home with a, with a dog in the home, we want to make sure that they get this slow, gradual introduction to each other. And our team is here to help a family with that. That can be a big ask for some dogs. So, yeah, always <laughs> right. always good to have that, yeah. that meet and greet facilitated. Make sure it's going to be a good Respect fit. looks like different things for different dogs. <laughs> My dog's exactly. version of respect is he really, really wants to play. He just needs to be told no in a very firm cat fashion <laughs> um, but he yeah, does he yeah. loves cats so yeah well it, it looks like she is is starting to kind of open up and and really grow into her personality now that she's in a safer space uh so exciting that she's going to have a much better life ahead of her yeah. than the circumstances she was found in uh you know sam we've checked in with you throughout kitten season i would imagine kamala is one of many cat residents that you're taking care of right now how are things going this summer yeah, kitten season is in full effect. And actually what we're seeing this year is kitten season is ramping up much higher and much faster than it has in previous years. Right now, or as of yesterday, we had, I think, 34 kittens 
uh, available for adoption here. So we've actually reduced all of their adoption fees down to $100. So if folks are interested in adopting a kitten, it's a great time to do it. We certainly have plenty who are looking for homes, but adult cats too. You know, we're here to help find homes for the little babies and the, the middle-aged cat like, like Kamala here and seniors as well. They're all looking for homes. Absolutely. And every adoption means that is a new space for another animal that right. needs help to come in and, and find that care. So yeah. go check right. out Kamala and, yeah, all, and all the other cats. fun animals, dogs, yeah. cats, small animals. Sam, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Of course. And if you're interested in meeting Kamala or to check out the other pets for adoption, go to hss.org.